going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna we're gonna keep working on perfecting basically this video we're gonna work on perfecting our bar quality coming out of the molds. Right, so I already kind of recorded a bunch of stuff and then my computer died. I lost a bunch of stuff. So I'm I'm just trying to fill in some gaps here. Just so you understand, you know, like uh, yeah, I'm just trying to fill in a few gaps and then I'm just gonna let the rest of it play I did a little bit more experimenting and trying different things and I finally figured it out You'll see by the end of the video We've got it dialed in perfectly and one of you left a comment that said uh, In the last video, which don't get me wrong. I love the comment Thumbs it up the whole deal. You know, I appreciate I appreciated the comment but one of you said that you don't think I'm ready yet and you're right. You're a hundred percent right. I am not. But I'm this damn close. This damn close. All I gotta do is work on that bar pour quality. So we don't have so much grinding and sanding to do. And then we need to work on professionally stamping the bars, which will be next. But for now, our main focus is bar pour quality. So just to catch you guys up. I went on to Amazon. I ordered two different two different types of graphite ingot molds off Amazon. I tried to look for the, the more expensive ones if there's such a thing, right? They they were as expensive as I could find. And one of them said high quality high quality graphite. So I ordered them. I went out and made some bars and let's see what happened all right guys so here's a cast iron that one's been around a while another cast iron all tapered here's the OG this is the very first $100 graphite ingot mold I mean, it is looking pretty rough, but this was all scrap. You know, I used this one for like brass when I was doing brass. And then this one was for copper. But you can see, you see how inside there's like that weird shape or, or this, this weird stuff in there? That was, that's borax. You know, people, I see a lot of people throwing borax in the metals. And you, you, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna put too much. Cause I've overdone it a few times with the, with the borax. And this is what happens. It gets stuck in your molds. And this is why all those bars that, that I was showing you upstairs that look like they're pretty clean, but not perfect. It's because of, it's because of this borax that's stuck inside. But again, I don't really care because uh, yeah, and these things, I just use and abuse the crap out of them. You know what I mean? They're still good, still still ticking along. Got some other small things here, bought by accident. I was gonna use these for silver or something one day. Yeah, I've got my, uh... actually, I think there's still silver stuck down there at the bottom, sterling. And that little guy. I got my uh, purifying uh, cupels down there. And uh, yeah, this this is the one that we were using for uh, those eight pound bars. And honestly, I mean, this one seems like maybe medium quality. It seemed to do all right, but then again, we only poured uh, three bars out of it so it really really hasn't had a good uh test run yet duke are you sabotaging my ingot molds when i'm not looking just yeah this is insane so like i showed you guys right i showed you the hundred dollar gem that i bought a while ago and you saw that i had borax stuck in the bottom of it and that's why we're getting this texture you see the little head right there the little head if you look at every bar it has the same little head there so there's no air bubbles though that's 
that's clean. So imagine a fresh one of these, how nice these come out. And literally, I'm telling you, I don't heat them up. I don't, I don't do any of that crap. I just freaking dump it in back to back to back to back to back and they still come out clean every single time they come out clean so I think it was just uh and it sucks that companies you know falsely advertise I feel like oh it's high purity bull shit first bar clean that's that's workable right bar two oh he's starting to get some bubbles and a weird line over here uh, yep more bubbles uh, more bubbles and even worse bubbles it didn't matter it seemed like the hotter the mold got the worse it performed just saying I, I don't know I just don't I, I don't understand that besides that they're shit they're shitting at molds they're no damn good all right, guys, so I had to go back and look up exactly wh who is the company that made those good $100 graphite ingot molds. What is, what is the company that produced those? So I found that I ordered one in 2021 and 2022. And those are the two that I just showed you. The only thing that's concerning is when you look at them, it says that you'll get 30 plus pours. Don't worry about that. If you get... Chinese quality you're probably not even going to get 30 but if you get these ones you will get way more than that you just need to figure out okay I'm gonna use the fresh ones for the good stuff and then once they get a little beat up I'll use the crappy ones for older stuff stuff I don't care about And if you take good care of them and you're careful you might you're gonna get a lot I'm, tr I'm telling you, you probably get double what it says online but obviously, any graphite ingot mold that you use over time, it thins out, thins out, thins out, and quality degrades slowly over time. Especially with these. It's not noticeable from bar to bar. But the Chinese ones, it is noticeable. From like bar 1 to bar 10, it's like, wow, that thing thinned out quick. So... I had to go through my past orders, but I found out that it came from PMC Supplies LLC. They have a uh, Amazon store, and they have their own website. I, I was talking to the guy. They're out of New York, and I told him about the problems I was having, and he says, well, because you're getting graphite from China. It's literally crap. He says the graphite that we use there's only one grade higher and it's used for rocket ships and space he says the grade that we use is one notch under that and the only reason we don't use the top notch is because it's twice the price and we did a test and there was no difference in bar quality and longevity so for all intensive purposes this is the best this is the absolute best graphite quality hands down that you can get for this application smelting and obviously yeah there is one more quality higher but are you willing to pay double the price for it and this is the first company that I've seen that's actually starting to dip into the copper market which is awesome look at this five pound copper graphite ingot mold pmc supplies llc one pound copper graphite ingot mold see that's where it gets confusing with the silver and the gold and it's all troy ounces and then you have copper you know what i mean so i almost ordered some of these one pounders and you can see right here 30 plus pours I'm telling you, don't worry about that. Just take good care of it. But I don't know. One pound is just not enough for me. It's going to be too small. I want a nice, meaty, thick, chunky bar. So they did say that they were working on their website. And I totally did ask if they did sponsorships with YouTube. Because I was like, dude, I've been reached out 
I've been reached out uh, to from other companies that wanted me to push their product, and I was like, "What is it?" Hell no. There's no way I could. I in my good conscience could I push that? No. No, I can't. I I I can't. Like I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. So the only way I could I could do that is if it's something that I personally buy and personally believe in. And this is one of those things. And he's like, yeah, we're, we're, we're actually working on that. So I have noticed price changes and shifts. So I just got two one kilo uh, silver. One kilo silver. They were 34. Now they're 44 a day later. But the 100 troy ounce silver one two days ago or a day ago was 144 bucks now it's 99 so the their their prices are, are shifting around a little bit but i'm hoping if i can get a sponsorship with them uh that i'll i'll be able to get anybody who's interested you know a discount on anything they sell that's the goal that would be sweet you know, and they might throw a dollar or two my way once in a while. Which would be really cool. But yeah, th those things are on the way. And as soon as they get here, we're going to go do another test rip. And see if bar quality improves. Alright guys, delivery came. Uh, the only thing is, this crucible, I thought it was 6 inches in diameter on the website that's i could have sworn that's what it said uh but yeah this is like seven and three eighths that is a massive massive crucible much too big for what we need it for so i'm going to try to return it uh if it's going to cost money to return it then i'll keep it and use it for scrap copper because it's big and i can just jam crap in there and melt it you know, I like these better. These clay graphite ones. They uh, take a beating. I don't know why I grabbed a different kind of... It was clay something. Silicon clay or something like that. Figured I'd try it out. But the whole outside of it is just like cracking and drying. Maybe it's fine. I don't know. I'll just keep using it. Uh, but... Yeah. Look at these suckers. Dude, you can feel a difference right off rip. I can feel a difference. The Chinesium ones are, uh, they're soft. Like, they're very, very soft. This feels hard as a freaking coffin nail. So, oh God, it's like 95 degrees out. But it's bugging me, man. It's bugging me. I don't want to show you guys how freaking awesome this is. So let's just grab some copper and go out there and... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Duke, make sure the bars come out clean, all right? You're the quality control guy. Do your job. All right, guys. I ran out real quick. I just wanted to just do it real quick. I just wanted to do a test run. I've got it figured out. It was and it wasn't the graphite ingot mold. So I poured two bars with the PMG like really really good quality I mean super high quality graphite and yes they came out a lot better a lot better bar one and bar two both came out a lot better than the, the cheap you know Chinese ones but it's still it did like I'm like wait a minute this is not this is not how they used to look I know when I poured the scrap ones they came out a lot cleaner than this something's wrong so I threw them back in and remelted them basically I took the 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 one kilo ones the ones that we just made yeah those four bars I took those four bars and remelted them uh, and yeah they were they were better much better but still they weren't quite there yet and I'm like, what is going on? 
What do I do with the scrap that I don't do with the pure? Borax. Borax. I'm like, well, I thought borax was to like clean, you know, clean out the metal and slag out impurities and stuff. I'm like, it's pure copper. What do I, what do I need to slag out? So I did a little search just real quick before I put anything in the metal and I saw that borax does a lot more. It does a lot more than just slag impurities out. Even if there is no impurities, borax still does something on like the molecular level when it comes to pouring bars. You know, it keeps the oxygen away. It forms an oxide layer, helps, helps prevent the copper from oxidizing, uh, lowers the melting point of the metal, which is crazy because as soon as you add borax, it melts crazy fast, much fa much faster than if you if you had not added any borax. Just you know, a little little observation because as soon as I added the borax, man, it just it was like done, done, it melted. So then I tried again and I poured consecutively one, two, three, four, and five. Back to back to back, not giving the ingot mold any time to cool off or, or, or be too hot or whatever. I just back to back to back like I remember, right? And here's the results. After adding, I had about a half a crucible and I added one tablespoon. So you have to be careful with borax. If you add too much borax, you're gonna hate your life. I tell you what, because if that borax gets stuck in, in, your, in your ingot mold, you're never getting it out. You might as well just give up. You're not getting it out. Cast iron one, you might get it out if you have the right tools to grind it out of there. But a graphite ingot mold, you are not getting that borax out. It's there forever. And if you put too much in, when you pour a bar, it basically it floats on top. So I'm not you don't have to worry about borax making the bars less pure because that's impossible. It just kind of floats on the top. It floats on the top. So when you pour the bar, the borax will kind of pull up on the brownie side. And then you'll have to literally chip it out with a freaking hammer. And if you pour too quickly, like I have in the past, the borax will splash at the bottom and then cool onto your ingot mold, and then you're you're screwed. But look at these. Bar one, two, three, four, and five, dude. Bar one, and this this was with, so the graphite ingot mold had time to cool down a little bit. So I guess the quality is a little less and more graphite came off onto the bar for the, for, for the first bar. So I guess technically you do want your graphite ingot mold hot to get a cleaner pour but again you if you're just pouring scrap and you don't care you don't have to preheat these it's not going to blow up that's not going to be destroyed the bar will still come out pretty damn clean it's just not going to be as perfect as it could be and look at look at look at bar two come on look at this that's how i remember these graphite ingot molds the pmc the graphite ingot molds all day long baby look at that oh look at that brownie side beautiful absolutely flawless this is going to be an extremely easy sand grind stamp done baby done all of these look at them Dude, you're never gonna get one absolutely perfect. It's just not going to happen. But how much grinding and sanding is that gonna take? Not much. Look at this one. Oh, look at that. 
L little like line on the side here, but that that'll come out. I'd much rather that than say that, because you're grinding half the freaking bar off, or or that. So yeah, I probably could have gotten a clean pour out of the Chinese molds by adding borax, but I still don't think they would have come out this clean. And the Chinese ones, they thin out extremely quick. You can actually notice a difference by the time you get from bar one to 15. It's like, wow, that, that sucker thinned out quick. But these PMC molds, you don't need to worry about that. These things will last you quite a while. Well guys, I think we're gonna cap the video here because we've got it figured out now. And not only that, you have to be mindful of your crucible size. So the number six seems to be the best for the Devil Forge, honestly. Like it's just the best all around size. But the bigger it is, the more heat it takes to heat it up. You would think the metal at the bottom melts first, but it's not, it's the metal at the top. And I thought I was getting a number six, but I got a number eight by accident. So if they won't take it back without like me having to pay for shipping and restocking charges, I'm going to keep it. And uh, I'll just use it for scrap or use it for, you know, maybe sand casting one day. But I did order a number four. Smaller than a number six. Right, just because it'll just... It'll help with gas because I just went I just went through two tanks of gas just experimenting trying to figure out how to get a perfect pour but now we've got it we've got it dialed in perfectly now so now I want yeah a smaller crucible and then it, which just sounds crazy just add borax it will melt faster yeah it actually does it does melt faster so I think with the properly sized crucible add a little bit of borax that's going to help save gas a little bit and we're getting very very nice clean bars so the guy at pmc said that the one kg silver would produce a one kg copper barb if you overfill it because they're very very close not true this is my attempt at an over pour it was literally getting ready to pull like fall over the sides and i got 1.9 that's not even close to a kilo but I think it's less about the weight and it's more about the bar and like look at that that is a nice little like it doesn't need to be exactly one pound or exactly two pounds or exactly a kilo it can be whatever every bar is different right so I'm gonna sell these as one and a half pound bars because generally speaking if I just fill it flush with the top of these and I and I can eyeball it because I did it towards the end I'm like okay I'm gonna eyeball flush and I got 1.8 1.8 1 1.8 on the nose every single time just go flush with the top this was a little bit under because I ran out of copper because this one has it so I don't know these two might get remelted and we're gonna shoot for 1.8, sell them as a, a one, one and a half pound bar that gives me room to grind and sand. And you know, you're getting, or whoever buys a bar is getting, it's gonna be a little bit, I just want them a little bit heavy. Just in case the scale's off or their scale's off or whatever, I just want them to be 0.2-ish over whatever I say it is, pound and a half. So we should be good to go as soon as that stamp gets here. And the new crucible, look at this, they stack well. Oh, these are just a beautiful little bar. I, I really like these. It's like the perfect weight, the perfect size, it's just nice. They stack nice. Oh yeah, that's that's where it's at right there. So yeah, I'm gonna cap the video here. Next video is going to be 
now that we have this dialed in and figured out and hopefully we'll have more of the pure stuff by then we're gonna go out and do the entire process from crystal to pour to grind to sand to stamp to packaging so that uh, I have a YouTube video attached and ready to go for whoever buys a bar in the future you know what I mean so we are we are on our way the next thing that we need to figure out is how to stamp a bar professionally but that will be in the next video we will figure that out we'll build something do whatever we need to do so make sure you subscribe give me a thumbs up I'll see you in the next one